Homeward Bound, January 19 God's Hand in History He removes kings and raises up kings. Daniel 2, verse 21 The Bible is the most ancient and the most comprehensive history that we possess. It came fresh from the fountain of eternal truth, and throughout the ages a divine hand has preserved its purity. It lights up the far distant past where human research in vain seeks to penetrate. In God's word only do we behold the power that laid the foundations of the earth and that stretched out the heavens. Here only do we find an authentic account of the origin of nations. Here only is given a history of our race unsullied by human pride or prejudice. In the annals of human history, the growth of nations, the rise and fall of empires, appear as dependent on the will and prowess of man. The shaping of events seems to a great degree to be determined by his power, ambition, or caprice. But in the word of God, the curtain is drawn aside, and we behold, behind, above, and through, all the play and counterplay of human interests and power and passions, the agencies of the All-Merciful One, silently, patiently working out the counsels of His own will. The Bible reveals the true philosophy of history. In those words of matchless beauty and tenderness spoken by the Apostle Paul to the sages of Athens, is set forth God's purpose in the creation and distribution of races and nations. He hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord, if haply they might feel after him and find him. God declares that whosoever will may come into the bond of the covenant. In the creation, it was his purpose that the earth be inhabited by beings whose existence should be a blessing to themselves and to one another, and an honor to their Creator. All who will may identify themselves with this purpose. Of them it is spoken, This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. God has revealed in his law the principles that underlie all true prosperity, both of nations and of individuals. This is your wisdom and your understanding, Moses declared to the Israelites of the law of God. It is not a vain thing for you, because It is your life. The blessings thus assured to Israel are on the same condition and in the same degree assured to every nation and every individual. Education, pages 173 and 174.